Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Pierce, the proud owner of Reclaim World. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all my staff for working so hard on Reclaim World to get it to the phenomenal tourist attraction that it is today. Um, we spent many a year, 10 years now, to get it to this level. But um, what I'd like to do today is to thank our regular customers for supporting us throughout the, um, the virus and also for our new customers that keep on coming and they're so excited when they see what we've created here. I'd like to take this opportunity to show you around and uh, give you some idea about Reclaim World and why we think it's special. I'm sitting at the moment, by the way, on a beautiful gypsy wagon that's gone to Appleby every year for the last 10 years. Um, it is for sale and it is something that you can have in your garden and you can have a cup of tea and read a book something, or somebody wants to sleep over, it's ideal. But let me take you into the showroom now and show you some of the uh, items that we have on offer. So here we have the Sandfire Station and we have free masks available. But the customers, we recommend that they sanitise on the way in and on the way out. So we're very safe here at Reclaim World. We have a one-way system and this is the arrow showing you which way to go. So if you follow me in. This is one showroom and we have three showrooms but we have lots of showrooms inside. And we just scan here and just show you some of the items on offer. We have literally thousands of items for the house, inside the house, and we have thousands, if not tens and twenties thousands of outside for your garden. But if you look at the furniture, there's a collective mix here. You have leather, lots of second hand, but good quality products, uh, and very unusual products as well. Um, we just make it creative. On a Saturday here, it's uh, pretty busy with uh, customers and they come in and they say, I can't believe this place, it's amazing. Every time they come, our regular customers can't believe how the stock turns around ever so fast. My philosophy is if we buy right, we sell right. And the art is in the buying to make sure we get good prices for our customers so uh, they can take the benefit from that. I'm just going to take you through now into a couple of other little showrooms, which is just branches off this showroom. It's hard to explain how many items. We've probably got, I don't know, tens and tens of thousands of different items. We have lots of small items that can be picked up and put in the back of your car. And we have a delivery service where we can organize for deliveries anywhere in the world. So this is a lovely room. This is an oak room that we've just made, just built it. Um, it's a 1920s boardroom. And it's absolutely fantastic. And that's just part of it. We have twice as much of it. So if somebody's doing a renovation job and they want an oak room, then we have one for sale. Um, and the prices, we're, we're very reasonable with our prices. We're not expensive. We don't class ourselves as antique dealers, the secondhand furniture people. We'll come and have a look at some of these items. This one here is a um, 1920s uh, bakery cabinet. Uh, which is super really and they used to have all the bums in there and, uh, and now it's ideal for a bedroom for clothes but we have a little office uh, cabinet there haberdashery cabinet so um, the, the filing cabinet here is an ex-army that one it's come out of the army that cabinet um, but as you, as you come and turn this way there's another showroom there which is off the big one uh, we call this one the man cave. Lots of interesting items. If you want a gym bar, uh, a telephone box in your house as a gym bar, we've done one down there. We've got Peaky Blinders. We've got all kinds of weird and wonderful things um, on offer. Barbershop sign, as you can see. Mars bar sign. We've even got a skeleton if anybody wants a skeleton. I'm going to go outside now and show you outside the theatre site because it's quite big. As I said, I can't show you all. I don't want to make this uh, video boring for you, but 
I'm going to give you a little taster of outside, but that's a taster of one of the showrooms. If you follow me through, we we'll go outside now and have a look. We have lots of building materials, and lots of bricks in all different shapes and sizes. Lots of York stone, because everybody now, because they're not going away on holiday anymore this year anyway, lots of them, they're doing the garden up and the house up, so it's nice to, to do uh, your garden with paths, we've got some lovely cobbles on offer, um, and certainly there's lots of things for your garden, so step up a little bit now and I'll take you to the garden section where we have lots of uh, items, I've just noticed this item here, what a lovely pair of gates, look at them. 1930s cast iron gates, very unusual. Stone fireplace next to it. It's just hard to show you everything that we have on offer, but our regular customers come every week and they say they're coming for a, a Reclaim World fix. They love it, they come. And then we have new customers. And once we get new customers, they keep on coming back. So we must be doing something right. Um, this is our metal section over here where we sell lots of different things. Um, up this way is more uh, for the garden now, so we have lots of stone troughs for the caps, lovely big airs, gazebos. We have lots of benches on offer um, and lots of different items, quirky items for your garden. We do a lot of farm clearances and we get some really unusual items from farms. These, these are nice. These, uh, the troughs, water troughs, but they can be used as planters, which is a great idea. And hay, hay racks, which are nice as planters. So if you have a look this way, there's a beautiful 1930s swings off the fairground. Can you imagine them in your garden for your grandchildren or your children to play on? Super. Very unusual. We've got some giraffes over here through the garden. Fountains, lots of fountains, lots of pots. We try and get unusual pots. We, we don't particularly like um, the run of the mill. If we can find unusual ones and unusual ends, we will do. But we have lots of gazebos, uh, lots of really unusual benches. Look at these two characters here sitting on the, on the benches. These Blues Brothers. I've had them to keep an eye on our customers and make sure they're happy. It's ideal for photographs, but um, we can't get them to work, unfortunately. <laughs> they seem to be lazy pair. Anyway, guys, that's long enough. I just wanted to give you the taster. Uh, we're open six days a week. We don't open on a Sunday. We open from nine o'clock in the morning till five o'clock, and I'm sure it's worth a visit. Everybody tells me they enjoy it. You need to give yourself a good hour to get round, maybe more. But anyway, look forward to seeing you soon. Take care. Bye.